Hi, I'm Bryce Cousin. This is the War Crew. We are on location at Riley Elementary School for their art festival. I hope you like what we have today. Enjoy! <laughs> Gotta leave it all on the floor tonight. This is us. We're filming. Yeah. Gonna fight these kids? No, we're not gonna fight these kids. We're gonna film these kids. Kind of struggling. Okay. We got this. We do. Everything we got left, alright? Put your hands in. Put your hands in. Put your hands in. Alright. We're all three. One, two, three. Whoa! Uh, we're here with Miss Melroy. Uh, she is working with the art club students in a variety of activities today. Uh, Miss Melroy, what are you doing today with the students? Uh, part of our kids are doing bookmaking. We're using paper bags, folding them in half, and sewing them. Uh, we're doing a pointless painting. We have this huge piece of paper that's covering up more than a whiteboard, and each student is using their finger as paintbrush to put dots of color on the canvas. Uh, and we are also making sock puppets, which is what this room is being used for. So, our biggest question we've been asking all the artists is, why, why are the arts so important in schools? Um, I, art is an indicator of our culture. It is the great connector between mathematics, science, um, English. Um, it kind of brings us all of our subject matters as a cohesive unit. Excellent. So, what type of art do you particularly love, if you had to pick one? <laughs> my, well, my, uh, my Bachelor of Fine Arts degree, my studio major was ceramics, but I started out as a weaver. Um, I do painting, I do bookmaking. If it's something that's creative and I want to do, I'll, I'll pursue that area personally for a while. But my focus has always been mostly I get gravitated back to ceramics, because I just like all of the processes of it from glaze calculation, making up my own glazes, to the firing processes. Excellent. Thanks. You're welcome. So, uh, what have you been doing today, girls? Well, I went to the park today. How about you? I did glass today. How about you? Um, I did pots and lots of art. Um, so why do you guys like art? Well, because it's fun to make. My initials spell art. Hey, your, your initials spell art? A-R-T. So, you can be creative. So what, why, do you, why, why do you guys like art so much? Well, because it's fun. Um, I think it's creative. Same thing. So what are you guys doing today? Uh, uh, we're, we're just making stuff and putting them in these bags. Yeah. Okay, so why, are you enjoying yourself today at the art festival? Yeah. So why do you like art? Because, because it's a uh, it's a very cool talent, and art is a very cool thing to do. Because for one, kids like messy, and for two, art is messy. And you, and like you get to make whatever you want, like in these uh in the paint brushes. Uh, you have you have to like if you want to make uh. Drip painting, you have to hold the paintbrush up and put and put and take whatever color you want, and then just go like that. And if you want to do like regular art painting, then you just pick a color and then uh, layer, and then the bottom of the paintbrush where you put your color, um, you have to set that on the uh, paper and then just draw. So, uh, what have you done today? Well, I've Use clay to make things. I've done cartoon comics, paper cutting, make glass, a glass magnet. Um. So, why do you like art? Cause you like can just make whatever you want, really, and you can imagine things and just make them how you want. So, do you like that uh, art is part of your school? Mm -hmm. um, what's your favorite type of art? I'm gonna go with cartoon art. Um, what's better, lunch or recess? Mm, I would go with more recess, recess and lunch. Both are. Okay. 
Mmm, lunch. Lunch. Um, why? Why do you guys like that so much? Well, be, because of, I like out recess because we get to play and lunch helps you uh, survive it and it helps you live. Lunch because after recess, well, you start getting hungry, and then that way you're not thinking on an empty stomach. That way you don't get your that way you get your work done. Awesome. Because I'm really hungry. <laughs> we made sock puppets. Uh, do you like making the sock puppets? Yes. So what are your? Let's take a look at your sock puppets real quick. That's pretty cool. So why do you guys like art? When you make art, it's a lot of fun because you get messy. Yeah. You like getting messy? Uh -huh. Okay. Well, so you enjoy this art, Riley Art Festival? Yes. Alright, well, let's take one last look. Thank you, girls. Um, what's going on here today? Um, we're having a Celebrate the Arts Day for the students. They have a lot of different activities where they get to try different arts, meet some artists, and um, create some unique works. So, do you, why do you think the arts are important for kids? I think it's important for them to find different ways that they can express themselves. And the neat thing about today is the students get to try a lot of different activities so they can find something that they like. Uh, do you enjoy art? I do. Yes, do I don't like think I'm do? very good at art. Um, I I like to do more, more art on the computer and use the computer for art. Okay, so last question: Why do you think uh, art is such a critical part of schools? Um, a lot of students need to find different ways to fit in. Some students are good readers, some students are good at math, some students are great artists, and if we don't provide that for them, then they will never find something that they're good at. They'll hate school and won't enjoy coming here, but if we can find something that they enjoy, we can keep them in the learning environment. Thank you. Tell us, uh, Ronnie, what you uh, made today. This is a knight on his horse trying to go over um, the mountain of lava and trying to get to the castle. And this is a ghost with giant teeth. These are his assistants. So the ghost has assistants? Mm -hmm. And giant teeth? Yep. This is a dragon trying to take over the world. And this is, and this is his assistant trying to take over the world. So uh, do you like drawing? Huh? Do you like drawing? I love drawing. So what did you do? What did you do? I drew in. What did you draw? A, a the firebender. That's cool. All right, Austin Cornell here interviewing these three young children. What's your name? My name's Mason. What's your name? Josh. And what's your name? Do your sock puppets have any names? Yeah. What's what's the name of yours? Eyeball Eater. Oh, Eyeball Eater. What's yours? Snakey. Snakey. What's your name? Your, your name? Gold Eye. Gold Eye. Do they have do they have special powers? Mine shoots out fire. Mine fire. Mine shoots yeah. out fire and cold water. Awesome. Flies and shoots out fire. Fire. It has like Mario powers. It's awesome. All right, so why is art important in society? Well, we come up with all the good ideas. So without, if you take a look at the, the pop culture you see every day, you, watch, you turn on MTV, the stuff that you see during the commercials on MTV, their kind of campaigns, that's the stuff that fine artists were making 20, 25 Don't years ago. Don't compare us to MTV. <laughs> it's just an example. MTV used to be cool. When I was a kid, MTV was cool. Not so much now. So uh, what's going on here today? Um, basically, we have three classrooms and 
there's just basically kids coming in all, all the time, all through the day, and basically showing them how to draw and sew and put books together and just how to have a fun time, really. So why do you like art? Um, basically just because I'm pretty creative and you can pretty much do anything with it. So. Uh, why do you think arts should be part of schools? Um, well, I just think it's kind of a good way to give kids a break and just kind of a good add-on to school. I'm here live with Ginger the dog. Ginger, what are your comments on all of this art festival? <laughs> you don't say. Well, this has been very thought-provoking. Thank you, Ginger. So, visually, we set the aesthetic that the general population comes up to many years later. So, whether it's whether it's the things you see in TV or movies, whether it's the clothes that you're wearing, um, you know, the billboards you see, you, know, we, you definitely see our influence in advertising. It's my sincere hope that the, the bigger influence comes um, as far as, as us changing society and the, our kind of social norms. Um, especially this, these days, and the, since the latter part of the 20th century, art has been more about ideas than aesthetics. It's more about the way, uh, the, the things that we're thinking about and the ideas that we're trying to uh, influence society with more than it is the way the things look. Um, and I don't know if the screen prints that we did for the students today teaches that per se, but what printmaking does really well specifically is that it, it addresses the, the democracy of art. You know, because we make multiples, we make a lot of copies of the same thing, we can distribute it to a much wider audience. So they get to be exposed to art beyond just the kind of derivative things that you see in pop culture. You get to have art firsthand because prints are cheap. So uh, what are you doing today? Um, well, we're, right now I'm doing, um, I'm working with a cartoonist and we're making our own cartoons. That's cool. So what, what are, why do you enjoy art? It's because it's my favorite su subject in school and there's lots of cool things to do in art like clay, painting, glass, other stuff like this. So, are you happy that your school has art uh, available to you? Yes. So uh, what's going on here today? Um, we're having an arts day today and so far my classroom has um, bookmaking and so they got to uh, thread a needle and sew a little bit. Um, we went to a mural making and they got to see how they can take colored lids and make some artwork. Um, Miss Allie also told us that they might be taking those murals and putting them up onto the library walls so the kids will be able to see their finished product. And right now they are painting. Um, do you personally like art? I personally like art, but I'm not very good at it. <laughs> so I'm glad that the kids are getting a variety of experience with the art today to see that, you know, they can use lids to make art. Um, last question. Yes. Why do you think that art is uh, an important part of like school curriculum? Well, I think that a lot of our kids have that creative side, so it gives them a chance to excel in different areas. So, Is your base, man? So what are you doing right okay. now? So did you wash it? Make. Okay, wash. Cutting glass. Cutting glass. How are you doing? Are you left-handed? Uh, what did you make? I made the snowman. And what did you make the snowman out of? Clay. So, do you enjoy making stuff out of clay? Yes. So, do you like art? Yes. Now why? 
because I want to be an artist when I grow up. You want to be an artist when you grow up. What do you want to do? I want to, I want to like paint pictures. Cool. So what did you make again? I made a snowman. Let's see it. That's pretty cool. So, do you like the arts uh, festival? Yeah. Are you enjoying yourself? All right. Thank you. This is war, but this is recess! This is the first recess the war crew, war crew has seen in years. Let's see how we handle it. Recess! Oh, I fell! Ah. Oh no, my arm's stuck! I don't want to be here for 127 hours! No! I need to cut off my arm! That is not true. Wait, what do I do? It's witchcraft! I'll push you. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. This isn't fun! My name is Austin Cornell. I'm interviewing this artist here at Riley. His name is Phil. What's your last name again? Maki. Phil Maki. He specializes in cartoons and drawings and stuff like that. True story. <laughs> yes. So, what do you love most about art? Uh, I would think most about art, I love the ability to put anything you can imagine on paper. Yes. Um, do you feel art should be a bigger part of society with like ki younger kids? Like absolutely. Uh, what we've seen today in the schools is, is uh, kids have so much in their heads that they want to put out there. And even from the small doodles and scribbles on the page we've seen today, uh, they have all these stories and things around just the smallest little, little dro droplets of ink on the on the paper, so I think it's really helpful for them to to put that on paper and, and be able to communicate that with their with their peers and with their family members. Yes, it's, I, when I was younger, I was um, more uh, I was an artist kind of, but I just don't express it anymore in, in a way. But I, I do love drawing still. But what what type of art do you specialize in? Uh, pretty much what you're seeing behind you here. Uh, I, I do a lot of cartooning. Um, I, I did a lot of life drawing in college and learned how to do you know, more, real, more realism, but I've always been uh, fascinated with putting uh, as you know, few lines on the paper as possible and still being able to carry expression and story and things like that. Yes. yes. Why is art such a critical part of the world? I think it gives people something to hope for or to... Um, understand. I think people like stories. They like to understand their world and art is a really great way to uh, not only tell the rest of the world how you feel about something or how you how you perceive something but then for the other end for the audience to be able to see that and maybe relate it to their life and think about it on terms that they understand. So it's, just, it's a great communication piece um, and it's, it's a really great way to express how you feel. Yeah. Alright, thanks. That, Thank you guys. That was a nice answer. All right, that's it. Alice Cornell signing off. Phil Maki. That's it. This 
So, what, so what are you doing today? Um, we're making a book. You're making a book. What is the book uh, that you're making? It's about my cat, Meredith. It's, it's about your girl. cat. <laughs> so, who is your cat? Meredith. She she's pregnant too. She's um gonna either have eight, seven, or six babies. Really? And so you decided to make a book about it. Because mm -hmm. I really love her. So, why do you like art? Because it's my favorite subject in school. So, you're enjoying yourself here? Right, well, we will see you later. Okay. Young ladies, what's your favorite animal? <laughs> what's your favorite animal? A zebra. Her favorite animal is a zebra. Mine's a tiger. This is Alex Cornell from Riley Emmett. Just keep going. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is Alex Cornell from Riley Emmett Elementary interviewing Dan Mock. I'm going to ask him some questions. Why do you love art? Um, I love art because it's, first of all, it's beautiful to look at. It's done right. Um, <laughs> and uh, um, it's the ultimate communicator of ideas and uh, sort of bridges the gap between uh, cultures and communities and relationships. What type of art do you specialize in? Um, Two-dimensional arts so drawing, portraitures, architecture drawings, so anything on paper. Anything. <laughs> um, why do you think art is such a critical part of the world? Um, because it's the one universal language. Um, everybody can speak art. Um, so it uh, communicates political ideas, religious ideas, personal ideas, um, and everybody can understand a picture or a building or a performance as opposed to different, or as, as opposed to the language barriers that separate yeah. us. Um, do you think art should be like more expressed to kids like throughout elementary school and like so? Oh yeah. Um, I mean, art is the first language, you know. So before a toddler can speak, they're gesturing and they're creating art. And um, so I think that elementary school is probably the most important uh, age when kids should be exposed to art because um, it's the bedrock of them continuing their education, not only in art, but in other subjects. So if they learn to express themselves in a creative way early, then they'll be better able to deal with other subjects. Yes. All right, that's all we have for this interview. I'm Oscar Cornell. This is Dan Mock. It's nice meeting you. Good to meet you. And that's it. I'm here live for round two of my interview with Ginger the Dog. Ginger, why is art important to you? You don't say. Well, okay. The, it, keep, I'm trying to interview you, Ginger. So, would you say you'd give this festival a rating of a K-9? Thank you for your time, Ginger. You've been great. Ginger the dog, everyone. Here live at the Riley Arts Festival, what's your name? Jose Garcia, Jr. All right, Jose, why is art important to you? Because I like drawing stuff and I'm practicing being a good artist. What's your favorite type of art to do, drawing? Yes. All right, thank you, Jose. <laughs> Riley Elementary right here. About to ask these kids some questions. Only one kid, wait a minute. What's better, cats or dogs? Dogs. Yeah. Good man, good man. Dogs are obviously the better breed of animal. I'm signing off.
I'm ready to look at him. I mean, you can break the fourth wall and talk to the camera, but I don't... <laughs> Alright. Wait, now you're walking away from him. Yeah, there you go. Alright. Ready? Mm -hmm. Go. We're live at the Riley Arts Fair. I'm here with Sarah Swarczyk. Not Matt Swarczyk. So, Mrs. Swarczyk, why is art important to you? Um, art, is, art is important to me because I teach intervention, and for a lot of my students, art is a way for them to be creative. It's a way for them kind of to have an outlet. Um, and it's a way for them to feel successful because sometimes they don't always feel successful in the classroom so they feel very successful in art. So what's your favorite medium of art? Um, I'd have to say that um, out of everything that I've seen today so far I really like the painting so I'd have to say probably like watercolors, painting, anything like that. Nice. And our final question, so which one is better, cats or dogs? Since I have four cats at home I'd have to say cats. Cats it is. Okay, yeah, what's your name? Jamie Jones. Alright, Jamie. Who will win in a fight? A cheetah or a shark? Shark. The shark would win. Okay, who's your favorite superhero? Spider-Man. Why is Spider-Man your favorite superhero? Yes, superhuman strength of and the spider. Yeah. Huh? Okay, so what's your favorite type of art? I really have no favorite. I don't know that much about art. That's fine, that's fine. Do you like doing art? Yes. Okay. We're live. So, any uh, last thoughts on art? Mm -hmm. Art. A lot of artists um, have the same talent, but that, but art, but they can make it creative. So I, but, so like that, and just make shapes and see what it, and picture it and that's the same thing kids could do too and they could grow up to be an artist and um if you want to do uh finger paintings like if you want to do finger finger painting like you can do you can just do that or you can pick a color and then just uh, set your color on some, I mean your finger on something, and then just light it where, um, however you want to make something. So ma'am, what is your name? I'm Kelly Savino. I'm a potter from Toledo. That's awesome. Um, why do you like art so much, or why do you have a extreme passion for art? I feel like uh, it's, it works a different part of your brain. A lot of time when we're in school, we spend a lot of time on academics, on things that are measurable, on things that are gradable, on things that will fit into a form or a test. And art helps you work that part of your brain that's hooked up to your hands. I teach college art, and my students, in some cases, it's the only class I have all day where they can incorporate their hands and learn new skills. And I think it's what you learn in art feeds what you learn in every other class. What do you think your favorite part of it is about being an artist? I can tell you my least favorite is paperwork and taxes <laughs> and all of that part. I spend a lot more time running the business than I do making art. But my favorite part is, I guess, two things. One is seeing students get excited. I have adult students, I have disabled students, I have little kid students. And there'll be somebody in there that'll pick up clay and go, okay, this is what I want to do the rest of my life. I like that part. That's great. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time. You're welcome. You have a great day. Yep. <laughs> okay, what is your guys' favorite class? My favorite class is Mrs. College. What's she teach? She teaches, she teaches uh, multiplication, mi minus, plus, and uh, she teaches foundation, and she teaches math, and, and sometimes I think. She lets us do taping and in the computer lab. Mm -hmm. um, I think art's the best. Awesome. Art and I like, too. Hey, I like art too. I like Jim the best. Hey, what's your name? Jenna. What's your sock puppet? Show me your sock puppet. Does it have a name? What's its name? Kelly. Sweet. I'm Ben Chen. Oh. I think Ben's probably my favorite. Yeah, he's my favorite too. Cool. What do you like better, lunch or recess? Oh, 
Recess. Recess? Why is that? It's awesome. Is it awesome? Cool. What's your favorite food at lunchtime? Fries. Do you like the fries? They good? Chocolate or strawberry milk? Chocolate. Yeah. Awesome. Can you give me a fist bump? Yeah, buddy. Good side? Sure. Yeah. This is my good side. Yeah, they're all good. We are here live at the Riley Arts Festival. Can I please have your name and occupation? My name is Ann Dina, and I'm an artist specializing in kiln form glass. Glass, nice. What inspired you to work with glass? Uh, I actually came here from Louisiana and I wanted to bring something back home. Uh, obviously, we didn't leave Ohio and I lived in Toledo at the time and I wanted to learn about glass blowing. I was very unhappy glass blowing because it was all about the bubble and I wanted to touch the glass and manipulate it and I really loved the color. So I had the great fortune of meeting this woman who called me a slumper and a fuser, and I thought she was calling me names. That does sound bad. Right? And so, uh, but she also intrigued me, and she said, well, why don't you come take master classes with me? And so I did, and went home and bought a little kiln that didn't fit into any of my doors in my house. So my studio was in my garage for 10 years, um, which is probably a good thing. My husband was uh, in the National Guard, and he was called up to Iraq for three tours, so. Uh, he retired in 2009, and I went, guess what I want to be? <laughs> and he was like, really? You think that's going to make money? And I was like, well, yeah. <laughs> and so uh, I have a studio in Perrysburg. It used to be a former yoga studio, so there's a lot of good owns. Yes, very nice. It's and nice uh, vibe to it. Totally. And I've been there. This will be my fourth year out of my garage. Uh, I do workshops. My class was recently in the Toledo Museum of Art, Toledo Area Art Show, so that's cool. Thank you. I sold it. <laughs> and, um, and then I'm currently at the University of Michigan, and their hospital system has a thing called the Gifts of Art. So if you're a hospital patient or um, a visitor, you get to experience art, uh, 3D, 2D, dance, music. It's really awesome. Um, so since we work with glass, Probably a little bit dangerous, is it not? Uh, yes and no. Every every occupation has its hazards. The big thing you want to do to extend your life is probably not to breathe a lot of silica. So I take a lot of precautions. I cover my eyeballs. The, my glasses are my safety glasses. But I also have uh, special precautions in for my kilns. When I empty my kilns and if I use thin fire, which is a aerosolized hazard, I vacuum that up with a vacuum. So, yeah. No, I want to be practicing a long time. So, how important do you think is it to have arts in schools? Uh, obviously, extremely. I think arts are the only place where we teach creativity and innovation. We, as uh, art educators, are the people that invite you to take materials and use them in a way that you may not have ever considered before. Um, we're the only subject in school that teaches that. Everybody needs to read, everybody needs to know how to count, but it takes a lot of practice to learn about process. Um, and to know that one layer uh, and the second layer can add up to a, a complete work, right? So every little bit builds a larger work. So um, yeah, I think the arts are incredibly important. Not only that, it's good for weird people like me. It gives us a job. A little outlet. Exactly. Of so out of the box. This is a question I have to ask everybody that I interview because it tells a lot about who you are. It's, it's a moral compass of a question, really. So, would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or 100 duck-sized horses? 
That is the coolest question ever. <laughs> Thank you. What are my weapons? Oh, um, just just you. Just me. Oh, totally the horde. I take yeah, on the horde. Take on the horde. Totally. Oh yeah. Heard it here first. The horde <laughs> is coming. Thank you for your time. My pleasure. Thank you. Good luck. You guys are gonna be busy today, huh? Oh yeah. That's all we have from the art festival. I'm Bryce Cousin for War on the Road. That's Ginger, and we're out of here. Yeah. You lay in your lap, cut. Okay, so after a long day of shooting at Riley School with War, Connor Cooper has decided to take a nap. Let's check it out. Nighty night. <laughs>